Hot 97 TV, it's your boy DJ Enough. I'm here with Shakur and Rosa Acosta, the stars of Los Blancos. Hi guys. Hey. How you guys feeling? Bless. I got a tough job. I got two beautiful women in front of me. <laughs> at the same damn yeah, time. Yeah, at the same damn time. <laughs> Los Blancos. We're launching a brand new um, series and you're here with us. How did this even start? Like, how did you even get here? Destiny. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a long journey. I have a great team that I worked mm -hmm. with. Um, from the point of inception of the show, me creating the show and getting the ideas down and shooting it together from Yolanda Gerald, the director, seeing right. it, to Lisa Clavel, you know, being the producer on the show, to Courtney Carreras helping me write things together. It just... It's not easy, right? It's not. It's People think it's easy. Oh, uh, no, it's a tumultuous roller coaster ride. <laughs> Politically correct, I guess I would say it would be great, but, right. you know, you have your ups and your downs, but it all comes down to team effort and collaborating and getting things done the way that it's supposed to get done. And... I learned a lot and I had a great time doing it and it's just the beginning. So Rosa, tell me a little bit about your character and your role in the movie. Well, I'm playing Sophia Blanc because she's kind of the uh, original wild child. Right. Younger sister. She just got it. I think she adds a, uh, a lot of presence to Los Blancos. She's crazy. She doesn't really care about what anybody says or think. She does her own thing. She's going through all this uh, situations in her life right. that are definitely going to make the story you know really interesting so nice. i hope people get her and i know people is going to get her and they're going to like her they're going to like her so talk to me Shakur. tell me what was the hardest part playing your role and then also don't forget to tell me what your role is all about um well my character's name is yasmin blanco and mm -hmm. it's I'm very familiar with the lifestyle. Let's right. just put it that way. Okay. So um, bringing her to character, bringing her life, her character to life, wasn't hard for me to do because I was again familiar with the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It was just a matter of I wanted her character to embody the alpha female, but still being able to keep her femininity at the same time and showing that she's strong-willed, that she's family-oriented, and she takes this underground world by its horns. Yes. And meanwhile. What's the most imperative to her was family is, you know, family is everything. Mm -hmm. But she still maintains business is business mm. as her motto. As Shakur Sozada, I definitely relate to her character a lot. She's my alter ego, if anything. Ah. So implementing a little bit of myself into the character is what really brought her to life and brought her across to be very real. Why is it so important for season number one to, to be released on Hot 97 t um, TV? The... The internet, the, the right. web, it's such a big platform right now and Hot 97 has such a great following right. that why not take advantage of that, you know, and make it available for so many people to actually take a look at it and see what Los Blancos is about. You know, it came across really, really great and I'm blessed and fortunate for it to finally get over here with Hot 97 That's what's up. TV That's what's up. So it's a new venture for all of us and I really think people will really appreciate and accept you know? Good. Do you think our fan base is going to uh, take your movie or, or your series and just embrace it 100%? I think Los Blancos will speak for itself. Mm. From a production standpoint, it is impeccable. It is A-plus quality. Aesthetically speaking, the cast is great. We had, you know, I had great people like Mano. Mm. I had Mario. Mm. I had Corrupt. There's a lot more people coming on to the show. Who says, hey, Mano, you got to do that over or... Do you know what's do you, so do you do that? Um, I do it. Yolanda does it. Does well, Corrupt say it? You know, uh, you tell Corrupt, oh, listen, that, was, that, that wasn't good. Do it all over again. You know this is a movie, y'all. Come on. You know what's funny? They were so easy to work with and so cooperative, and they were all a part of Let's Learn, Let's Get It Done. I wanted to come across the great way. They came, they performed, they did their job diligently. Mm. Mano is a hell of an actor. He is, right? He is. A, I mean, He's an actor in real life, so that's why he's like, good. <laughs> he came across very natural. He didn't mm -hmm. really need too much direction. Mario, he's been in movies. Yes. He did an amazing job. Corrupt, he did a great job, and it was just, it was fun. When you see the storyline, and you see how it's so organic and how it's cohesive and mm. how it comes together with the other characters and how the story unfolds, people can't help but become engulfed with the story. Sex, drugs, money, and scandal, like from 50 years ago, it was popular and it was hot, everyone loved <laughs> it. Now. 50 years from now, they're gonna love it. Exactly. From Godfather to Goodfellas to Casino to, you know, to Scarface. And those and those are my favorites, they, I, they still to my favorites. And, you know, and, uh, everything, like, but it was always from a man's perspective. Mm -hmm. It's your boy DJ Enough, and I'm with the stars of Los Blancos. And um, it was a great time, you know, being with you guys. You know, I'm available if you guys need me to do 
and then you know, <clears throat> quick little acting roles. Would you mind if Rosa and I snuffed you the back of the truck? <laughs> no, come on, man. That's the kind of role no, you no. want me to play. You're gonna <laughs> snuff me the back of a no, truck. No, make a special part cameo just for you and not, yeah. not a problem. Come on, hold me down, Rosa. Come on. <laughs> Hot ninety seven TV, Los Blancos. Check them out. To me, family is everything. My father was taken away from us. A legacy is what you leave behind. He didn't have any sons, so we, me and my sister, run the family business. I don't want to end on no Blanco family feud. Just want you to be careful. Man, you can talk all that shit, son. But I'm telling you, they was like bionic bitches. Sophia! I'm Diablo! You gonna do what the fuck I tell you to do, you hear me? I don't remember that he mentioned any dealing with the gangs. You ain't shooting nobody with that Malibu Barbie Beretta. You can smell like a Beretta to you. Ooh-wee! Yeah, that shit smell like dead bodies and success. You taking a trip? All right, well listen, before you do go, I just want to thank you on behalf of our mayor Salazar. I will hold my family name up to the day I die. <laughs> Family is everything. La Familia.